The Renaissance lasted roughly two centuries. The High Renaissance, or 1500s, is well known for the work of Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Raphael. But the first half of the Renaissance, the 1400s, is often overlooked. While the main structure of the Florence Cathedral is medieval, its remarkable dome and much of the art decorating its facade, baptistry, and bell tower define this first century of the Renaissance. The Duomo, that's Italian for cathedral, is huge, the largest anywhere when finished in the 15th century and still in the top 20. The church's claim to fame is its dome, the first of the Renaissance, and the first great dome built in Europe in over a thousand years. The church was built in Gothic times, but rather than being kept by another spire, it was left with a gaping hole, waiting for technology to catch up with the city's vision. In 1420, Filippo Brunelleschi won the job and built the dome that kicked off the architectural renaissance. Brunelleschi's dome, which inspired those that followed from the Vatican to the U.S. Capitol, showed how art and science could be combined to make beauty. And today, it rewards those who climb to the top with a grand Florence view. While the Duomo's architecture and statues are impressive, the baptistry, across from the cathedral, is centuries older. The baptistry is separate because in medieval times, you couldn't enter the church until you were baptized. Its interior glitters with Byzantine-style mosaics created in the 13th century, long before the Renaissance. These vivid scenes, bringing countless Bible stories to life, inspired the medieval faithful. Jesus sits at the center of it all. Overlooking creation on Judgment Day, he gives the ultimate thumbs up and thumbs down. On his right, Angel Gabriel blows his trumpet, bringing good news to the saved. And on the thumbs down side, well, you don't want to go there. Some say the Renaissance began in 1401 over the excitement caused by a citywide competition to design and build new doors for the baptistry. Lorenzo Ghiberti won the commission and spent decades working on this project. These bronze panels, Ghiberti's Gates of Paradise, were revolutionary in their realism. By utilizing the mathematical laws of perspective, Ghiberti helped give the art world a whole new dimension, depth. He pulled out all the stops to create maximum three-dimensionality. The tiles have lines which converge to a vanishing point. The bench is foreshortened to accentuate the depth. Elements are added to establish a foreground distinct from the middle and background. The effect? As viewers, we become part of the scene. While the panels, like most of the art you see outside these days, are copies, the originals of the cathedral's greatest treasures are stored safely out of the elements in the adjacent Cathedral Museum. 